Right. So in this video, we will talk about the implementation of Facebook Pixel. But be, even before to, we go to implementing the Facebook Pixel and uh, put this tracking code on the website and e-commerce site and track the e-commerce actions that people do like adding to cart and purchase and uh, how do you install Facebook Pixel and pass extra parameters, custom parameters along with Pixel in my next video. But this first video will be focused more on understanding why Pixel, right? So first thing I have put these five points, right? Uh, understand the purpose of remarketing remarketing I think you might be aware this is one of the most you know you know remarkable features of any marketing platform right if you if you talk about Google Ads right what remarketing did to Google Ads is you know you cannot be explained in words right? right same goes with Facebook after Facebook introduced remarketing the kind of campaigns that we can run on Facebook can be so tailored that you can write reach the right audience with the right message and somehow convince them to buy your product right or you can you can drive them in a conversion funnel and, and try and influence them to buy your product right so remarketing is one of the most important features i would say it's the remarkable features that any marketing platform would have right now you have to understand one thing when person comes to my site not everybody who comes to my site in the first visit will buy if 100 people happen to come to my site maybe one person or two person will buy other 98 people will not buy in the first instance so if you if you don't have a follow-up plan to reach them back and try and show them a different ad try and convince them then you're you're doing something that is not going to improve your business you're not going to drive more conversions because people who already visited your site they know about you so if you if you again take one more chance and try and reach them back with the right offer maybe they might be interested or you might drive some incremental conversions so remember you cannot simply run one campaign and say hey people who come to my site and people who immediately buy my product no they're not going to buy so you have to run one follow-up campaign that's remarketing remember many have a marketing plan only if you have a follow-up plan and to implement that follow-up plan you have to implement remarketing and uh, implementation of remarketing can be done through Facebook by implementing Facebook pixel on the site right objective the same thing to reach them back to to drive incremental conversions to drive people to engage to drive people further down in the funnel right yeah what is retargeting reaching those users who have already visited our website right now this this is not specific Facebook alone this can be implemented using Google Ads and other important marketing platforms right now so when you do remarketing using Facebook pixel you can serve ads to users you can serve ads to users who have visited your website earlier you can serve ads to users on Facebook or other associated properties of Facebook see so when you implement Facebook remarketing right so whenever who somebody comes to my site Facebook will capture that and once they capture it what you can do is you can show ads to those same people as they are browsing on Facebook or other properties of Facebook but remember when you implement remarketing through Facebook which is by implementing Facebook pixel Facebook will not be able to show ads to users when they move away from Facebook and properties of Facebook right so now you don't expect everybody to be on Facebook all all the time right so they might go to YouTube they might go to other websites as well so that is why it's a smart move to run your ads to to serve your ads to your website to serve ads to users who have already visited your website on as they browse YouTube or Google Display Network which has close to 3 million websites right you implement remarketing 
using Google Ads. So it's not it's not something that is only restricted to Facebook. No, you can you can do it on every marketing platform. I do a lot of remarketing campaigns on Quora. So whenever people visit my site and those people happen to go to Quora, my ad will follow them. You come to my site, you can do it. You come to my Make Marketer site and you go to Facebook, my ad will follow you. You come to my site and then you go back to YouTube, my ad will follow you. You come to my site, you go to Deccan Chronicle, you go to other big sites, my site will follow you. You come to my site, you go to LinkedIn, my ad will follow you. You come to my site, you go to you know Pinterest and you know, other other big different websites my ad will follow you right it's very important because you know once you come to my site you kind of know me right so if i don't take that extra chance and try and reach you back with the right offer then i'm wasting my money i'm, I'm not reaching those people who are already ready for me to take right so that is why remember you'll get incremental conversions when you run remarketing campaign so it's important that you run remarketing campaigns now because i'm talking ex exclusively about facebook you have to implement remarketing on facebook that means you have to run remarketing campaigns and for that you have to implement facebook pixel right so in my next video i'll show you the anatomy of pixel and how you can implement the pixel on the site but this video is particularly explaining about the the fundamentals of pixel now getting started with facebook pixel right so what do you do to implement facebook pixel you have to go to ads manager and then click on all tools right you see pixels you go to ads manager you click on pixels here you'll find the pixel and this is the pixel that you have to go and paste it on the site and what this pixel does is whenever this pixel is there on the site and whoever visits your site this pixel will drop a small cookie on the browser of the user right that means facebook will tag him you know better ways tag him how do they tag him by using this cookie technology right that cookie is dropped and that cookie will tell facebook server whenever you browse facebook properties or facebook so if you come to my site Facebook pixel is there on my site. Facebook will drop a cookie on you and that user who is having that cookie, that means that specific user, that specific browser in fact, right? If, if anybody uses that browser and comes to Facebook or comes to Facebook properties, Facebook will serve my ads to them because Facebook knows through that cookie that you already visited my site. So basically cookie is a remarketing, uh, remarketing is a cookie based functionality, right? Now what are best practices? We'll discuss in my next video, setting up Facebook pixel. I have, you know, my next video, you'll learn entirely about how to implement a Facebook pixel and uh, what is the script and the no script tag in Facebook pixel and how do you put both of them and the tag sequencing because if you want to track the actions that people do on the site, you have to, you have to put extra quotes. Putting Facebook is not just going to do, you have to put other Facebook uh, quotes as well, standard events, custom events. In my next video, I'm going to exclusively share on that, right? And um, yeah, so how to create custom audiences. When I put the Facebook pixel, just because I put the Facebook pixel, will Facebook capture it? No. What you can do is you can create custom audiences. And and you can and you can you know create buckets of people who visit so and so websites so and so websites so watch me as i take you through my second video in the part two where i've exclusively shared about the implementation of facebook pixel on an e-commerce site and conversion events and purchase events along with conversion value so watch my part two video where you'll understand more about facebook pixel and its implementations thank you